Nice, I love that. These are my natural curls. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today's video is so requested. You guys have been asking me to film a video trying out the new Revlon One Step Blowout Curls. This retails for $75. Revlon is getting a little bit more expensive. I remember when their hair clothes used to be like 60 bucks, but everything's going up. All the prices for everything's going up, so I get it. You can get this at Ulta. I think you can get it at Target. I'm going to link it down below if you guys want to check it out. So let's open this up and see what's in here. Okay. Here it is. What I like about this hair tool is that it is compatible with the Revlon One Step Plus. I am so glad that you can use that round brush attachment from that blow dryer with this base, which is pretty much the same one. And it's just way more convenient for traveling. You don't have to take two hair tools. You can just bring the base and all the attachments. So I like what Revlon is doing here. I feel like they're really making this kind of like an all-in-one hair tool. So this comes with the blow dryer. I don't think I would use it that much just because you guys know I'm not really into these type of attachments, these paddle brush comb attachments. I like my round brush attachments. So I would just use the round brush attachment from my other one step plus but it's nice that it brings something that you can use to dry your hair this one also has a cool low medium and high heat setting even though this is going to give you like that curl blowout effect this doesn't have a kwanda effect like the dyson air app so you have to curl your hair with this clamp kind of like a curling iron so let's get right into it i'm going to put it in the medium heat setting first That is a nice curl. It really does look like a blowout curl. I did notice that it was a little bit hard for me to keep my hair in the clamp without it kind of like blowing out and falling. So I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna put it in the highest heat setting. Try it. Just grabbing the hair. I'm trying to not open it too much, but it is a clamp, so I feel like I have to open it a little tiny bit just to be able to move the hair in there ah okay see I feel like if you open it a little bit you're screwed like your hair is just gonna blow away so I think I'm just not gonna open it at all I'm gonna leave it there it's nice and tight so Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna release the curl. It gets very, very hot. Wow. Woo! Okay. So, there's the curl. You definitely get like a very big curl. It's not like a tight curl. This wand is a little bit big. It's an inch and a quarter, so 1.25 inches, which is actually the same size as the shark flex style so you are gonna get a looser curl but i do feel like i get a tighter curl with the shark flex style i'm gonna do one on this side and then i'm gonna wet my hair and do it straight from wet hair even though i kind of wouldn't really recommend doing that because this feels like it's not gonna be super gentle on wet hair i wouldn't use this on wet hair i would do a blowout with the round brush and then I would just add curls with this, but I would not 
just use this straight from wet hair especially since it has a clamp i feel like that makes it even less gentle than the air wrap for example or the flex style that the hair just kind of wraps around the wands by itself with this one you kind of have to move it around and all that moving and clamping and tugging can kind of break your hair a little bit more so let's try this again i'm gonna actually grab the hair first and then i'm gonna turn it on and let's see if that makes it easier so I don't think I'm going to do that with every section, but let's see. These curls, oh, it gets hot. These curls look nice, but they definitely look a little bit loose. So I think this is going to give you a nice like blowout curl look, but it's not really going to give you tight curls, which is, I mean, this, that's probably what this is supposed to do. But just so you know, it's probably gonna give you just like some nice waves. Okay, that should be enough time. Let's see. Nice. Nice. I love that. That is very, very nice. Yeah, I kind of prefer just turning it on, turning it off, or using the cool shot instead of releasing the curl when it's on. But at the same time that's gonna make you waste more time but that curl right there is super nice and if you wanted to clip it and let it set for like 30 minutes you will have amazing long lasting curls i'm gonna keep doing my hair yeah it's way easier to use when it's turned off but again i feel like that could be a little bit inconvenient and it might make you waste a little bit more of time so okay high heat setting You can also just leave it there for a couple seconds, put in the cool shot, and then turn it off. And just kind of like work with this. Put in the high heat setting, cool shot, turn it off, and just like move it around. But, whew, it gets hot. It gets super hot. Maybe a little bit too hot for me, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna put in the cool shot. So cool. Let it set for about 10 seconds. And now let's turn it off. Let's see what curl we get. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Wow, Revlon. Let's go. Let's go, Revlon. Love it. That is so nice. That is so nice. And using the cool shot makes it look even nicer. So I really just want to like clip all these curls. But I don't want it to also affect or change the final look. So I'm not going to do that just because I'm testing this for the first time. And I really don't want that to change the review. But I would definitely clip these curls. So if you guys want me to do maybe like even like a TikTok using this again. Clipping the curls and then releasing the curls after like 30 minutes. Doing a word test to see how long it's going to for the curls to kind of fall again let me know in the comments below i can totally do that for a tiktok follow me on tiktok right here on instagram i post a lot of mini videos on there that i do not post on here on youtube even though i am gonna start posting shorts on here so stay tuned but yeah love it love it love it love it <laughs> okay i'm gonna turn it on all the way to the highest heat setting Leave it there for like 10 seconds and then we'll do the cool shot. Another 10 seconds and then we'll the curl. Let's see. Oh, that is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. I love this. I love that. I'm going to do a very big section and let's see what happens. Love it. I wish the cool shot was in a button, like kind of separately, maybe like up here somewhere. Just because since there's so much going on here, it's a little bit hard to go from high and then to cool. So I'm going to curl the rest of my hair and then I'll be back and do this section on wet hair. So I am done doing most of my hair. I actually love how the curls are turning out. But now I'm going to do this section right here. I wet it and as you can see, it looks pretty curly. These are my natural curls. So 
so most of my hair is dry as you can see so now i would go in with this attachment but if you have the revlon plus you might as well just use the round brush attachment i feel like it's way better for curly hair i mean my ends look pretty bad now because it didn't really shape the ends but i guess this is what's gonna do that this attachment but if you have pretty straight wavy hair you might like this and you might use it but for me it's a no i don't love this i would just use the revlon plus round brush attachment if you already have it if not, I would just dry it some other way and then go with it. Let's see. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, so here's the final look. Absolutely love the final look. I feel like my hair looks super shiny for some reason i haven't even added an oil today i did yesterday but today i have it and i usually do add oil right after i curl my hair but i don't even feel like i need it because it just looks so shiny it kind of looks soft as well like if i just got out of the beauty salon i don't know i'm really liking how my hair turns out I think it looks super nice i feel like the curls would fall if you don't clip them so just like any other blowout curl would <laughs> so definitely clip them maybe even add some hairspray let the hair set for about 30 minutes and then you should be able to have very long lasting curls for the whole day so yeah i love this i think this is a good cheap alternative for kind of like that blowout curl so i'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out and yeah i think revlon definitely nailed it with this one yeah guys that is it for this video let me know your thoughts down below let me know if you want me to film another video using this maybe comparing it to another hair tool you guys already know let me know in the comments down below that is it for this video i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye bye